Scratch Records, a place where you can undergo a complete music course without paying a dime. Here, we teach everything from scratch to finish. We offer free courses in music theory, guitar, piano, drums, vocals, and lots more. We even offer a free course on music production using softwares like Ableton, Cubase, Sonar, Logic, Pro Tools, FL Studio, and many others. What's amazing, we offer courses in sound engineering as a whole. The only opportunity for you to make your dream come true as a music genius is with Scratch Records. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for new alerts. Ladies and gentlemen, Damas Kawairo, Mesdames and Messieurs, Masa and Wonderedem. Once more, it's your humble servant, His Imperial Majesty, Uncle Terence Manga Ashwar Tibor, the Vicar General, His Apostolic Anuncio, Brother John Quilla Aluzunga Puto Kriong. And today, we shall be learning how to play the major scale on the piano. Oyi, vamos a aprender como se toque la escala mayor en el piano. Et aujourd'hui, on va apprendre comment jouer l'échelle majeure sur le piano. And today, we will learn how to play major scale for piano. So stay tuned just in a moment. I'll be right back. Look closely on your keyboard. If you see, it is, it, it looks a little strange because you cannot distinguish the notes. The only thing you can distinguish on this keyboard is that they are white notes and black notes. And it's always very difficult for starters. They, they, they don't, they, it's difficult to distinguish these notes. But this is the easiest way I'm going to teach you how to distinguish them. If you see all the white notes look the same, they look alike, and all the black notes look alike. So you, if they say Do or they say Re or they say E flat or whatever note, you might not know just by looking. You know, you might know the sounds, but now it's important to know even by looking the, the notes. So now, we always start with Do. Why do we start with Do? I've always said Do is the first note of music. So always consider, every, start everything from Do. It makes it easy. So now let's look for Do on the keyboard. Where is Do? Where, you see all of the white notes. These are the white notes and these are the black notes. But now see a technical difference. All the white notes have no difference. But now you see the, 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 the black notes are in twos and in threes. But all the white notes are just single, single notes right up to the end of the keyboard. But the black notes are in twos and in threes. And when you see a two and a three black note, it means the first white note before the two black notes is a C. That's the easiest and the only way to understand. The first white note before the two black notes is a C. So this is a C. So where is another C? Definitely this is another C. Because this is the first white note before the two white notes. Not the first white note before the three. Don't make that mistake. The first white before the two gives you C. The first white before the two, black gives you another C here. Okay, and this makes it an octave. What is an octave of a musical instrument? Anyway, now we are talking about the, the, the keyboard, a piano. There are octaves in on, on every musical instrument, but here we are talking of the, key, key, uh, the keyboard, which is the piano. An octave is a set of 12 or 13 notes. This issue of 12 and 13, I'm sure we are not going to talk on it so much because we already understand. If you don't, go back and watch our previous lessons and understand what is the, what's the difference between 12 or 13 notes because 12 and 13 is the same thing. So, this is an octave. This is an octave of a piano. This is, but you must start with a C. This is Do because this is the first white note before the two. So this is from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's an octave. If you like, you add this 13. But there is no need add this to be the 13. And here 12 because this they can be the 13. But this is number 1 to start another octave. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you say 13, then you are starting another octave. So I'm, I'm sure we are clear on that. So let's start with the left hand. 
we all know this is the pinky and this is the ring this is the middle this is the index and this is the thumb okay now and we have a principle that we say for your left hand to play the c major scale we have a principle we call the five three three five what does that mean it means this is how it goes we say do re mi fa sol la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do so why do we say five three and three five it means for your left hand you you count the first five fingers is from do to sol it means one two three four five then you bring back your middle finger you say one two three when you're going back you say one two three then you go back with your thumb one two three four five so it's do re mi fa sol la ti do going back will be do ti la so fa mi re do that is it for the left hand now for the right hand the principle changes for right hand is three five five three what does it mean it means we do one two three one two three four five going back is one two three four five one two three which is do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do that is it and you must make sure that each finger has its note i've done it for left i've done it for right so now what do we do now we have to do it for both hands all right let's take both hands now we start do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do i'm sure we are clear let's go once more So that is it for left and that is it for right. All right, now for both hands. trying to do speed so much because speed is going to come automatically you can see me do something like this speed is automatic thank you very much and see you in next lesson